Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith, and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to make the famous Star Wars title crawl. All right, so I thought I would show you how to make this in both After Effects and in Premiere Pro. And uh, there's a huge deficiency in the title designer in uh, uh, Premiere Pro, and that is the lack of justification, which I'll show you in a sec. Now, what I'm about to show you is a, is a quick, does the job, throw it in there. I wouldn't use this for a real feature film, for crying out loud. Uh, but you know, if you're a professional looking at this, a lot of times somebody just wants a quick, give me a quick solution, a couple of things and drop it in. And that's what the Premiere Pro one is. The After Effects one, a little bit more finely tuned and definitely worth a professional look. Let's have a look. All right, so here we are uh, with the crawl. And the first thing you might notice is the ragged right look on it. And that's what I said uh, when I mentioned I could not do justified uh, text in Premiere Pro. So if I double click on this and we open up the title designer and I go back to the beginning, um, you can see on the top, we can left justify this, we can center it, or we can right justify it. And all of them are a compromise to justification. You'll also notice that the, the type is incredibly squished here. So if I select the text and you look over here on the right, look at the aspect setting of 401. If I change this back to 100, which is the default, it makes the regular text. But if we can see over here, it does not look correct. So I'm distorting this in two different ways. First of all, I'm distorting the text this way to flatten it out. And then in the effects controls, I'm using both corner pin and basic 3D. And I'll show you why I had to use corner pin. I'll turn corner pin off and you'll see that the text as it scrolls up, it is, it's like a fake 3D. So it's swiveled, uh, tilted back 45 degrees, but it just does not have that complete look. So I needed to fake the perspective a little bit more and that's where I added corner pin. Both of these you can get from the effects uh, down here in the bottom left. If I select, let me zoom all the way out to 25%. If I select this button here, it's going to grab the four points for corner pin. Corner pin simply means that if something starts out with a rectangular view, it has four points. And as you distort any one of those points, you'll distort it. So I'm using it to, to crank the perspective. And you'll notice on the right, there's one, there's two. Where are the other two? Well, I actually have to zoom all the way out to 10%. That's how far out I had to add corner pin and mess around with this to get that to move out into um, the space needed. And you'll see the numbers over here on the left. So you could either change the numbers here so I could uh, line both of these up to make sure that they're numerically correct. But that's how you do it in, in Premiere Pro. It's not the absolute uh, best uh, result, but in a pinch, it's going to work. Now let's go have a look at the After Effects uh, version of this. And instantly you'll see it just looks better. It feels better. And everything is nice and crisp and clear. And notice that we have justification. And if you look at the justification in paragraphs down at the bottom here, so if I select this text, you can see that you can justify to the left. You can justify the last line uh, left. You can justify, and I had to actually notice the top is not justified. So if I select that, you can see there's my justification where the last line, the galaxy, is left. Or it's justified in the center or to the right or justified, justified, which would stretch it out. The correct one for this is that. And you'll also notice that I have a new hope here. And the reason I have it here and I don't have it in Premiere Pro is a block of text inside Premiere Pro can't have different justifications. So I would actually have to, to create yet another block of text uh, uh, to do that. So I just wanted to, to do it pretty quick for you here. So that is 
bent into three-dimensional space. And I'm going to go to my views and choose two up, horizontal. And now when I go back and forth, you'll see what's happening. The text is actually tilted back and it is moving up and down, but it's tilted because of the position information over here. So you can see right here, there's my X rotation. So if I change that rotation, you'll see the type come back up and I pushed it back like that. I have two keyframes for position information. At the, at the beginning, this is where the position is. And when I move to the end, I'm just pushing it back into the end, just like that. I hit play, there it is. And on the left-hand side, you, don't, you won't see that playing. All right, so let me go back to one view and hit play and play this back for you. I thought it would be uh, appropriate to do a little uh, Star Wars title crawl tutorial. Um, if you're not well versed in After Effects, well then you can get this done kind of sort of the best you can inside Premiere Pro. If you really wanted to do it in Premiere Pro, you could use something like Photoshop or Illustrator to create fully justified text because that is an, an, op an option that is an option in those programs. Drop that in as an asset and then put the corner pin and the tilt on that and make it work. All right. Um, well, thanks everyone for all of your wonderful support uh, for Video Revealed. If you're new to Video Revealed, then please take a moment and subscribe. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. All right. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.